I'm live. Hey, uh, I don't even know if there's anybody out there, but you know what? That's the way it goes. I was sitting here. I got a little something I'm going to draw, and I thought, you know what? Why not live stream it? Why not show the people what I'm doing? I've actually been kind of lazy about live streaming the last couple weeks. I just I sit there and I think, oh, I don't want to turn the camera on. Now nah, I'll just draw this, and then you know. But tonight, I said it's been too long. I got to get on camera. I got to get on the airwaves and uh, do some drawing. So you guys don't forget who I am since I have nothing immediately coming out from DC or any place else for that matter. Um, I figured I got to do something to uh, get a little attention because, you know, I'm needy that way. Um, all right. Well, there you go. We got six people watching. That is good enough for a start. Stephen Ng dropped in. Stephen, you're going to like this. This is I'm doing uh, Sue Richards. Fantastic Four. I know you uh, like the drawings of the ladies. So uh, let's go. There she is. Now she's already inked. So all I'm going to do is color, but that's going to take me long enough that it'll kind of satisfy this, um, this live stream. And my dog's down there. He just got a haircut. And he's probably going to be bugging me relentlessly, but we'll try and get through this with, without him uh, tormenting me too much. Lloyd Delagarde, the collector, is here. Hyper Potato. Uh, no, it's not. It's you know, she's. Uh, we can see her at least two thirds of her. Tatiana Dykes. Oh my goodness! I haven't talked to you in ages. Thanks for dropping in. I miss you too. I wish we had some San Jose cons we could go to and hang out at. Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, let me zoom in on this a little bit. Actually, before I do that, let me do the, nah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 I will. You know, I can't, I can't do a live feed without plugging my book, even though I think everybody right now on this live feed has this, but there's 15 people watching, so maybe someone doesn't. Uh, this is my uh, raw imagine 20 years of uh, sketches. It's by me. My name's on it. That proves it. It's got a spine, my name on it, hardcover with art on the back, and my little company logo, Cold Crocodile Press. Very clever. Uh, at least I think so. Um, this has got like art in it. The best of my sketchbooks over the past 20 years, at least in my opinion, and uh, some a lot of new stuff too. So, you know. Some Uncle Sam stuff, got some trolls, got sharks, gorillas, vampires, Lord of the Rings, Tangled, more trolls. Ooh, John Carter, tons of John Carter stuff in here. Ooh, the shadow, the shadow knows. So anyway, there's lots of good stuff in here. You can get one of these for 25 bucks plus $5 shipping, or you can get a sketch, headshot sketch of anybody you want on the inside for $45 plus $5 shipping. I do it right on this uh, this page right here. Now I'm not doing one tonight because I really haven't been pushing these since the last Aaron Con. Um, I've been busy working on Garbage Man pages and um, getting those off to the inker. And um, what I'm doing is now is I'm prepping some artwork for my uh, Christmas special. Yes, yes, I'm having a, a Christmas con. Um, I haven't set the date yet, but it'll be. It'll be early in December because I want to be able to get packages out to people so they'll actually get the artwork that they may pick up before Christmas, which would kind of be nice. If I waited till like Christmas Eve to do it, it probably wouldn't work out too well. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. What else? We've got Fly Fox Pro is here as always. Fly Fox, he speaks truth. Let's see what, uh, what he says here. He says... It's the best sketchbook I own. And he speaks truth. I know. I know he's a truthful guy. Um, Randy Funk's here. I have two copies already with two different sketches. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate that. The fantasy stuff is the best stuff. You know, I agree. It's my favorite stuff. Ah, John Smith, Aaron Kahn is alive and well. Actually, this is Aaron Live, but Christmas Con coming soon. So, yeah, it is alive and well. I've been kind of, you know, like I said, off the radar a little bit. Uh, been uh, missing in action. Lacking motivation. I don't know. What do you call it when? Uh, but I decided to kind of overcome my apathy and really get after it tonight. So here we are. So let's zoom in. 
Let's see what we're going to do here with uh, our Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Sue Richards, the invisible girl. The invisible woman now? I don't know. Is that, would that be more apropos? Okay, well, I got pencil lines on here, which you guys probably can't see, so I'm going to erase those first. And like I said, it's a sketch, so I don't necessarily have to clean it up too terribly much, but I do kind of want it clean, since I am going to do this in color. So, you know, those pencil lines kind of can smear in when I'm doing the color, and, you know... We just don't want that. Now, as anybody can, uh, anybody that's classic FF fan will recognize this as the original outfit for an invisible uh, girl, invisible woman, whatever she is, invisible mother. Um, so when the FF first got their costumes, this is what she was sporting. That's the black collar, black belt. Um, Uh, da, 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 there. I have no information that I can give you on Garbage Man at this point, other than I am working on it and it is coming uh, next year. So um, when I can tell you more, I will. But I'm not even supposed to be telling you that, and I don't even know why they're they want me to be silent about it. But you know, the people that are publishing it asked me to be silent about it, and this is about as silent as I'm going to be about it. I'm not giving you any details. I'm not giving you the publisher. I'm just telling you that it is happening. Unless something really bizarre happens, then it doesn't happen. But as far as I know, it's happening. Uh, let's see. John Smith has three sketchbooks. You know, if it wasn't for you guys buying multiple copies, I I wouldn't even have broken even on that book yet. I, uh, Court Carpenter says, hello. Hello, Court from uh, Vancouver, BC. Uh, on the bright side, if you erase it away, it's still in character. Nice. A little, uh, I, I need to record like a little uh, snare drum, you know, kind of thing that I can do for you guys' witty humor. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, she's all in costume except her face. So I'm going to go in and do her face first. I'm going to get in here really close. Okay. I still, as you can tell, I still have not spent the money to upgrade to high def. But I will. I will before Aaron Christmas Con, maybe. I definitely will, maybe. Okay, so here we go. Rodney Ulibarri's jumped in. Hey, Rodney. Daniel Brown. I don't know what that means. Mike Logsdon. Hmm. Uh, Pat, can I give you hints about what? Um, on the bright side, if you erase it, okay, can I give you hints? Um, I've given you all the hints I can about Garbage Man. I will give you a little preview of Aaron Christmas Con, which is basically, that's what I'm doing this for. I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get at least 10 color pieces done like this. They're all going to be 9 by 12, and they will be for sale during the con only. So don't message me now and go, oh, I want that, or whatever. You have to wait, and then you have to be uh, quick. I haven't exactly made up the rules yet, but I will be very clear about them before we start. Um, <clears throat> you can't even see that, can you? That was a light pink I just laid down, sort of as a a base. You can kind of see it. You still can't really see it, but it's there. And I'm going to go in with um, an orange, which is kind of my favorite. I don't know why I'm just kind of... Use the orange for my flesh tones. Court Carpenter, classic costumes tend to be my favorite I, letter iterations anyway. Me too. This with comic, I mean, you know, modern comics, that's fine, that's great, but I grew up reading comics in the 70s, and so that's what makes me nostalgic, is sort of the older stuff, and I don't really give a rip about the new stuff. I mean, you know, I do about the stuff I'm working on, of course. But in terms of a collector, I'd much rather go back and read the old stuff because, you know, like I said, that's what I read when I started out. So that's what I have the most affection for. So 
So we go in here with a little bit of orange and it's much darker than what this screen is showing you. I have the worst time with the color on this thing. I'm, I am gonna have to go to high def because you guys just have to believe me when I tell you that it, it looks awesome. Well, it doesn't yet, but hopefully it will when I'm done. Uh, let's see what else we got. Greg Hindley says, Jeff Jablonski says hello. Hello, Jeff. Thanks for joining us. Pat Scott, publisher, no, hence. Uh, in all this craziness that's going on, I find a strange calmness watching you draw, and it brings me back to the crazy times in and around Beaverton High School and sharing art class with you for a couple of years, Aaron. Thanks for giving my mind some rest and peace watching. God bless Oregon. Thank you, Greg. My goodness, all the way back to high school. High school art class. I didn't get along with my art teacher. That was, um, what was her name? Osborne, Mrs. Osborne. We butted heads quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Daniel Brown says, I was trying to tag a friend who would love to watch this, but it didn't work. I sent him a link, so I'm hoping he gets the chance to watch before you're done. So do I, Daniel, gosh darn it. I mean, you know, it's kind of unfair of me to sort of go live without any sort of um, notice, but you know, sometimes you just gotta fly by the seat of your pants, man. I do it all the time. Well, not so much anymore because I never leave my house, but when I was young and actually left my house, yeah. Call people up like on a Friday night. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, uh, well, uh, come on, let's go do this. You know, and people are usually like, you know, it's Friday night. I got plans. I'm like, who makes plans? You make plans like the minute before you do stuff. So anyway. I'm going to put a little red on her nose. Give her a little Rudolph. Still, gosh, you still can't even see it hardly. It's tragic. Um, this is a really kind of heavy watercolorish paper. Let me show you the uh, board that I'm using here. This is a Blix because it's Blick brand is cheaper. Uh, Vellum Bristol in huge lettering, nine by 12, 100 pound. So that's heavy duty paper. So I've already done a Supergirl, which I posted on Facebook. I've done the thing, which I posted on Facebook. I don't know if I'm gonna post any more until Facebook. I think we're just gonna keep it a surprise. Um, Although since I'm showing this, it's hardly a surprise. But I know you guys are like, you know, you deserve to see what it, if you're gonna sit through and watch me do this, you deserve to see what it looks like actually in full color instead of this sort of half color you're getting right now. So I guess I will post this when I'm done. All right, I'll post it uh, and then you can see those of you who watched me do that Green Goblin sketch a while ago were just amazed at it, how bright, how much brighter it was when I actually did a scan of it and posted it, as opposed to what you're getting on this live feed. And again, I think that's mostly because I haven't gone ahead and got the uh, high def yet, but I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And as you see, I'm not afraid to use my finger or Tissue paper, this is actually paper towel, but tissue paper actually works really well to kind of smudge this up a little bit and uh, soften it. Because this paper is really textury. And it's, it's almost like a watercolor paper. So this helps kind of smooth that out a little bit. Unless you want it, you know, um, have some heavy texture, which a lot of people do, but I do sometimes, but it depends on what I'm doing. And this stuff, I'd rather have it a little bit smoother. On the thing, I didn't clean it up as much because he's, you know, he's a rock. So I didn't mind if he was rough. So I'm gonna go in there with some brown to kind of do her eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna, um, probably gonna hit it with, uh, what am I going to hit it with? I'm going to hit it with some violet if I can find it. 
There she is, Violet. There she is. <laughs> okay. I don't know many he's named Violet. So. Okay. So we'll get a little color there. Um, two, let's see. Jeff says she's gorgeous already. Well, thank you, Jeff. Well, thing is, man, if you can't get it in the black and white, the coloring isn't going to save it. Uh, that's basically cover stock. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, stay safe, Aaron. God bless you and yours and from Georgia. All right, Greg, thanks for stopping in, man. I know it's way late back there. Uh, he's almost 10 o'clock. So thanks for, thanks for stopping in. Greg Hindley from Beaverton High School, a classmate of mine from way back in 1980, 81, and 82. Uh, John Smith says, I sense a theme. Life's a roller coaster. Uh, <clears throat> you sense a theme about what, John? See, so you guys, I don't really pay attention to what you guys are doing in the feeds that much. I'm trying to read the stuff, but if I don't even remember what I said, by the time you type in a response to something I said, I have totally forgot what I said. So I see a response, and I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? Um, so I'm sure most of you are just being incredibly funny, and I just don't know because I forgot what it was in reference to. So in a totally unrelated matter, I came across a video of, um, it was on YouTube, it's like a 30-minute sort of making of or anniversary making of uh, Tremors. I got through about halfway through it, and then I had to uh, go to bed because I'm old. But it was really sort of uh, kind of fun. I want to go back and finish it because I got about 20 minutes into it, and then it was like I had to, I had to crash. My dog gets me up at 5 a.m. every freaking morning, so I have not slept in for seven months straight. I've been up at 5 or 6 a.m. every morning. So I have to go to bed early <laughs> so I can manage it. I become like a farmer, you know. Go to bed when it gets dark. Get up at, before it gets light. All right. I'm just going to assume that uh, she has blue eyes and she's a blonde, right? Oh, yes, John, you do sense a uh, theme, but I have no interest in drawing Mr. Fantastic or the Human Torch. So this is going to be, I'm only doing two of the FF. But when I drew the thing, I was kind of like, you know, I should draw Sue Richards. And then I was like, I should draw Mr. Fantastic. And I was like, no, no, I shouldn't. Because um, no one cares about Mr. Fantastic. Uh, people like Sue Richards and people like The Thing. But I don't think people, I mean, I, I think everybody likes The Human Torch, but I don't know that, you know, he's going to uh, garner a lot of interests. And let's, let, you know, let's just be honest. I'm, you know, looking to sell these. That's why I'm doing them. So you kind of got to do the stuff that people are going to be interested in. And I don't see a lot of uh, Johnny Storm um, sketch buyers out there. Could be wrong, but, but I don't think I am. Okay. So go in here with a little warm gray to kind of uh, get this. Uh, yeah, Johnny and Ben together in one piece. Now that would be of interest, but that's like work. So I prefer to keep these more simple because then they feel more like recreation to me and they're not, uh, you know. And then plus if I start putting multiple characters in, then I got to charge more and then it starts to get at a lot of people's price range. And then where's the fun in that? Where's the holiday spirit in that? So you can do, I'm doing little, uh, little highlights under here. 
I'm going to go over this with a yellow pencil in a minute. But I do all the, um, all the what we call the value work. That would be the light and the shadows. And then we hit it with a yellow. And that yellow just, I don't have to do it very, just kind of lightly go over it. You guys might see, I see a little bit of it picking up there. That. And then, then I shall crosshatch over those lines I just put in. On a rough surface like this, the crosshatch actually helps fill in the dents in the paper that you might have colored over and didn't pick up any color the first time through. That looks kind of yellow on your guys' feed, but it's, um, I mean, it's not super yellow, but it's much more yellow than what you're seeing. Everything is very muted for some reason on these. And it's not my camera because my I got a picture of my camera over along the side screen here, and it's very sharp and clear. So just these dang um, <clears throat> live stream feeds. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a little marker to do her lips, lusciously red. Uh, let's see. I'm getting behind on my comments here. Let's see. Okay. No one has any interest in seeing Mr. Fantastic unless you're going to do something really cool with his elasticity. Well, that's the truth. That's kind of – Josh agrees with me. Or Johnny with me. Okay, yeah. Uh, I always picture the Human Torch John Byrne style with all those lines. Well, now, wait a minute. They were doing – now, maybe I'm not thinking John Byrne style, but it, I mean, Kirby put lines in him. Are you saying that Byrne put more? I mean, it's been so long since I've looked at that stuff, I'd have to go back and check. But um, I'm going to I'm going to uh, understand. I'm going to I'm going to trust your uh, comment there on Byrne. Um, Johnny Storm doesn't have the same sex appeal of Atari Force. <laughs> Oh, Atari Force. Um, <clears throat> that's one book I never read. That was a DC book, wasn't it? I didn't, you know, I did not. Excuse me while I get a drink of water here, sorry. I never read Atari Force. Um, just didn't really... Uh, I was a classic superhero guy. In fact, I didn't even read DC mostly, except I kind of got into Batman once the movie came out, the first one, the, the Michael Keaton one. I was into it for a while. And, of course, I was into it for, well, I bought the Dark Knight Returns like everybody else did, but that didn't get me to reading Batman regularly. But um, it did for a while after the movie. But I've been just so preconditioned it's so funny that i worked for dc for you know like 12 years because i was never a dc fan growing up i just was always a marvel fan okay i think her cheeks are red enough you can't really tell there but they are okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do obviously her costume is blue but i'm going to go i'm going to do an undercoating here of um Cool gray. And get all, again, I'm going to establish all my values and stuff and then go over it with color. Now, the interesting thing is I was looking at some, I was looking at Kirby really quick to find out how to, what the costume was back then. And the gloves that these guys had on, at least in the really early stuff, were blue, but her but he'd like ink in the, the 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 boots were black with blue highlights, but the gloves were blue, the same color as the costume, which I thought was interesting. Now maybe in, as it went along and Buscema was drawing it, maybe that changed. I don't know. I can't remember. I was never a big FF fan, 
despite being a, a Marvel zombie, that the book never appealed to me. I just, the whole sort of Reed Richards, old guy, married guy, didn't, I don't know, you know, isn't, as a 10 year old kid, I was like, yeah, I'm not into that. I was more into Spider-Man, you know, kind of the high school student, you know, with his troubled romances and things like that. The whole sort of married superhero thing didn't really uh, click with me. Although I did like the thing and I did like the human torch, but, but they were the cool guys in the, uh, in the group anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Okay, so we can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically laying a flat gray zero, cool gray zero over the top of this. Again, to sort of, it's, it's in a lot of ways, it's kind of like priming the board. So it take, it's a little bit wet. Um, and then it, it, it takes the marker, I think, a little bit better. This is an old, I probably stated this before, but it's an old uh, technique that <clears throat> when Alberto Vargas, the pinup artist, was not doing, um, using airbrush, he would, he did all this stuff, his early stuff with brush, brush. And um, that's what he'd do. He's wet, he'd wet his board down. He'd get these really thick watercolor boards. And he'd wet them down with like a, put them underneath a faucet and get them all wet and, um, and then let them dry, but they would be moist. And so they, they would take the watercolor better because watercolor tends to stain, if you will. And if you really want to, you know, if you want to do kind of a loose, a splotchy watercolor effect, like say uh, David Mack or somebody like that does, um, and that's fine, but if you want something really smooth and airbrushy looking, which was what Alberto Vargas was doing, he wanted that he didn't he wanted really, really soft edges. And so wetting your board down before you started applying your paint really helped keep those edges soft. Um, and so I sort of took that to heart as a very young lad reading that. Um, and I've always done that with my watercolors, kind of wet the board first. And then even on this stuff, kind of go under with a really light base and then, um, blend. That's a C2. So now I'm going to go in with the C0 again and soften these edges on here. And then I'm probably going to hit it with a C3. But that zero will kind of blend out the edges and soften that edges. Not that the edges are all that hard to begin with, but because it's still a pretty light gray. Oh. Josh, if you had a thimble of my talent, you'd be doing this for a living and going, man, why was I so stupid? Why didn't I get a regular job so I could have the weekends off and actually make a living? Uh, I've done okay. But it's been, uh, you just never know. It's like right now. I mean, I've been out of, haven't had a comic job in what, six weeks. And the way the industry is going, I may not have another one, at least from the big two. Um, so there's a lot of uncertainty in working for yourself. But I do enjoy it, the freedom. It allowed me to, to spend a great deal of time with my kids and volunteer at their school and, and be around. And I think that, I think they appreciated that. Uh, and I certainly did. So, all right, we need to get a C3 PO. <laughs> oh, the humor. Let's see. Yeah. Wait a minute, you loved his DD work too. Who? Kirby? <clears throat> Dude, you're high. Kirby Kirby did a couple of Daredevil covers, but I don't remember actually him doing the inside of a book. Are you talking about Daredevil? Are you talking about Daredevil? Or are you talking about something else? 
Yes, FF was a he. That's the funny thing. You look at Spider Man and the FF. So many major characters had their first appearance in those books. That. Okay, so this is really dark. So I've got to make sure that I I hit this quick to kind of soften that edge. So I'm going in with a C2. I'm just going to kind of bleed it down a little bit. And I'm going to go in with a C0 and hit that edge really quick. In a lot of ways, this is like doing a watercolor painting. It's a little bit easier to control. Oh, there was lots of colon stuff. Oh, Daredevil by colon. Okay, sorry. See, I just, I don't really pay attention. It's not that I don't pay attention. It's that I'm drawing and I can't read everything. Um, but, you know, Kirby did do that one really cool Daredevil cover. I want to say it was 13 where K Kazar was like guest starring in it. Um, Yeah, but I guess Gene Colon was sort of the quintessential Daredevil artist forever. At least back in the good old days. I mean, Frank Miller, I think, gets credit now for being, you know, the greatest Daredevil artist. But Colin was the guy that uh, I really I like Gene Colon's stuff. It was kind of wonky, but I did dig it. And he did these close-ups of people and, like, eyes and stuff. And his eyes were just beautiful. I remember... He did this close-up of Captain America when a couple of the issues he did like 114 or something that like he like did the eyelashes and stuff and it just I thought they're really great. My wife has snuck up behind me. Just seeing who's here. Oh, good old hype with the data. <laughs> Good old hyper potato. You know, oh, there's John. My uh, my wife came up with um, oh, speaking no. of hyper potato. We oh. did a we did a book back uh, when I was in Studio Source back in the nineties that we released through Image called Chicks, and it was kind of a parody book of all the sort of. Group, yeah, boob books that were going on in the 90s. And um, so we had all these, we had to come up with all these girl superhero names, right? And they were all, you know, somewhat parody names and stuff. And so I had come up with one for our second issue. The first one was just called Chicks. The second one was um, the Chicks that Time Forgot. And we had to introduce all these new characters. And so we were in the studio just brainstorming names. And I came up with uh, Joan of Arkansas. And Shelly goes, and her sidekick, sweet potato pie. <laughs> so, uh, potato pie. And so that uh, that became sort of a... Gosh, that's been a running joke for like 20 years. I don't now. know if I ever actually... I drew Joan of Arkansas in the comic, but I don't know if sweet no, potato sweet pie potato made it. Pie never made the appearance. Done. Yeah, but um, so anyway... <sighs> Just wanted to give my wife credit for contributing to. Oh, yeah. Have I got my ammo yet? Yes, I have 450 target ammo and 50 personal defense ammo. But I was going to go shoot, but I'm having some thumb and wrist issues, so I had to wait. It's going to have my private lesson and everything. But I'm ready. She's ready Eventually. for action. Um, I stop breaking myself, doing nothing. So basically what I'm doing here is um, C3s and then over the top of this. And now since the, there's so much marker on here, it's pretty wet. I can just go in with a zero and kind of soften those threes, C3s. No, John, I didn't, I didn't get reloads. But I finally 
you can't find like I call it for real Z ammo anywhere. In fact, I would go to one store by Mart and walk right in and get Target ammo, and then I'd go wait in line 30 minutes at this armory store. But finally, we were standing in line, and somebody said, "Yeah, Sig's um, got inventory finally." So I was waiting in line. And I swore I was not going to do this, but I paid a dollar a round. My math degree told me it was really dumb. But I got what I got another magazine, cleaning kit. Yet to fire it, but I'm all set just in case. I used to buy Mad and Crazy magazine, but I got a gun magazine. No. I'll have to wait after the holidays, I guess. Do, 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 do. Learn how to shoot them up. Okay, so you kind of see that we're, uh, you know, starting to get some modeling in there. Speaking of boobs. I got to do her lower regions. But. <laughs> Little Husker's all tired out. Got a rough day of grooming. So the groomer's all day getting his hair cut. He needed it. Like he a homeless did. stuffed animal. He had seen better days, that is for sure. Okay, so that's a three. Oh, yeah. Can't find it anywhere. This is a two. But I figured out Tuesdays was when one place got delivery. So I would go every Tuesday. So I have 500 rounds total, but who knows when I'll get to... Should just suck it up and go get a quarter one shot in my wrist. Call it good, but harder needles. I need a, um, hmm. a C1. Do I have a C1? I don't think I do have a C1 with any ink in it. That's the problem. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to C2, I guess. Or C3. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bert dropping in from Canada. Hello, okay. Bert. Um, so I, Shelly, I'm going to have to what? enlist you for the Christmas con because I'm going to be doing like live sales over the. It's going to be kind of a yeah. first come first serve thing, I think. So yeah. someone's going to have to read off who the. Uh, well, what are you paying? I'm paying nothing but Christmas presents. Oh. Well, I'll do it for an Apple Watch. <gasps> we got you an Apple Watch. What? What have you what been happened? smoking? What happened to the Apple Watch I got you like a couple years ago? Is it not good anymore? <laughs> you know, it quit working after Europe. I don't oh. think I broke it walking so many. Well, see, if you're not going to be responsible enough to take care of the stuff I get you. Oh, wow. You Look pause. out. You better pause. Look out. Here we go. <laughs> Hold me back. I can throw hands. Oh, my. Okay. So now we've basically done all the modeling of the model. I'm going to go over here with a uh, light blue. This is what I use for my underdrawing generally, but it's it's nice blue. So I'm going to use Oh, it don't even go blue. What? Yeah. Maybe silver looks good with a little bit of blue, except oh. when it's in your hair. Yeah, Shelly was experimenting with uh, getting like silver streaks oh. in her hair, and it turned out blue. So she's uh, yeah, lady turned my hair blue. Now I need to go like buy a walker and stuff, and join the old ladies with blue hair. <laughs> well, I mean, like, okay, so I've been coloring my hair for like thirty-five years. I'm over it. Who am I kidding? I'm old. I'm gonna have gray hair. So I decided to embrace it as God's highlights. <laughs> I go get highlights and she's going to make them silver for me. And I get home, I see them in the light and they're blue. Blue. Yeah. Kind of an ice blue. Kind of like you do. So I'm going somewhere else and I'm fixed. Friday. I should have gone back, but I don't. I think it's blue like Snow Miser. Yeah. That's an ice blue. Well. I look like him right now, too. Physique-wise. <laughs> no, that's Heat Miser. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Heat Miser. 
Apple, ugh, mm -hmm. why? Bert doesn't like Apple. He's Canadian, he doesn't know. Well, then I have one, then the face came off, so I guess I could go get it glued back on, but Ice Queen, yep, in my hair and in my veins. <laughs> oh, brother. It will be our first Thanksgiving without one of our children. It'll be a That's bummer. true. Although she's the Jones food down there. The who? The Joneses is keeping up with the Joneses. Is that Michael's parents? Yeah. No. So they're had the kids over tonight and feeding them, and they were swimming. She's having a while. Sweet. Yeah. She's enjoying college life, so I can't really fault her for that. No. Okay, so all my lines here are going one direction because I'm going to cross hatch over the top of them in just a moment. And that also helps sort of create a smoother, even lay of the color. What color are you going to do the other way? A darker blue. Well, how about maybe that's what I should have done. Have a yeah. darker blue put in my hair? Probably not. Maybe purple this time, and I'd really join the old ladies club. Oh my gosh, like the kind of like really light sort of glowy purple. Isn't it illegal to have Thanksgiving where you live? Uh, well, almost. We'll see. We don't listen to the governor. We uh, Freaking farce. She's such a tool. It's <laughs> We do whatever we want. There's a county commissioner up here in the next county over that <laughs> went on and said she was going to invite as many friends and family as she could find to come to Thanksgiving. But when she said, yeah, call the police if your neighbors are ha have this more than whatever people. More than so, yeah. I grabbed the wrong pencil. I was doing violet. Mm. So now I'm going to grab blue, and we're going to pretend that this was not violet under here. That's right. I messed you up when I said purple hair. Is that what it was? Maybe. Maybe. Blame it on me. Well, it's dark, and you can't really tell. Yeah, we're the rebels. Oh, but she's such an idiot. Oh, my she God. Is very, she's very toolish. If ignorance was painful, she wouldn't be upright ever. But we only have, I think, four people coming. So, or we're going to four, four people total, so we're not breaking the, her I law. I anyway. around and pick up random people. Yeah, but then we got to feed them. True. Take a picture and then kick them out. Who was it said I should put like cardboard cutouts of people in the window and stuff and turn the music up really, really loud? Oh, like we had just funny. like a ton of people. And then see if they call the cops, and the cops show up. Go, what? We got four people here. What's your Our problem? neighbors won't. No. Or would they? No, I don't think. Well, I'm no, sure there's people we know that would, but I don't think any. Well, the neighbors, neighbors over here that smoke pot all the time would, because you pissed them off. What? No, Can you piss them off? Well, maybe. Okay. See. Maybe. I just asked him to not blare his music with all the f bombs in it when the kids are out playing. Other than that, yeah. not much. So outrageous. Okay, so are there any states that actually have kids in school? Um, Anybody know? Yeah, all the um, Republican governors. All the red states. states? I think, yeah, I think they uh -huh. do at least a certain degree. Yeah, our kids are never going to recover academically, ever. Well, our kids are because our one kid's well, out of school, yeah, and the other one's actually in school right heaven now. Heaven forbid. So softening with the tissue is what I'm doing. That they come over for turkey. But the neighbors, after they get the munchies, smoking the pot. This is the it's smallest. Illegal, this is the smallest. Uh, yeah, but I still don't like smelling it. Um, it's not like it's, you know, pot smell is like perfume or something. Um, oh, California's having half days. Half days of pot? They've been in. Oh, the, oh, potato? These kids have been in since August. I have to teach everything online through videos, no Zoom meetings, and then meet with kids once a week for one hour to teach them while well, algebra isn't too bad. AP Physics, you got to teach a college course when you see them one hour. So dumb. Okay. So and then it's going to come back around that they're going to say we're not doing our jobs because, although, I mean, it won't for me, but... And they'll go back on state testing, SAT testing, and how Oregon is falling behind. 
because we had an idiot governor. What did you say that you were going to call the police and say you didn't feel safe? With oh yeah, her? no. <laughs> they said that she said that call the police on your neighbors if you if you see them have a big crowd and you don't feel safe. And so I said, I'm going to call the police and give them the governor's address and say, I don't feel safe with her being governor in that house. So see if I get him to go over to I state capitol. Ooh. Said mandatory to have at least a dozen folks over. Oh, that's hysterical. Yeah, I mean. Hey, if you're, you know, I mean, you can take precautions. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But don't, you know, come on. Don't tell people they can't celebrate Thanksgiving. I mean, I don't sound, I need to sound heartless. But people forget that people do die. And it's very sad, but if they, yeah, if you need to be at home, stay at home. So, yeah, our cohorts aren't mandatory. So then, of course, you have to try to arrange everything that you do in that one hour for them online, which is impossible. But anyway, that's enough of my complaining. <laughs> Well, maybe not, but we'll see. We shall see. See how wonderful it is doing the gray markers? I can just kind of lay the color over the top of the markers, and wonderful. it's already modeled. Wonderful. I'll drop in some highlights later, but... Where would you have a, a C marker? A who? Would you have a stash somewhere that you would forget about? There's a buttload of markers down here. I know, but I don't have a C1 because I ran out of ink and they're not, I ran out of refill and Copic still, they're redesigning their refills. They've been doing it for a year and they still haven't released their refills. So I can't refill anything, obviously, because I can't yeah, get any refills. A, set of buttloads down here. Because they wanted to make the refills smaller and more expensive. So um, you can pay more and get less, which I always like to do. I just feel that's a good way to. Uh... Oops. So we're darn close to being done here. Darn close. What are you doing over there? I'm looking. She's vandalizing, is what she's doing. I'm looking for markers for you. Well, no, there's. No, I'm telling you, there's not a C1 over there. Okay. I mean, if there is a C1 over there, it doesn't have any ink in it. It's laying around here someplace, but I don't have any refills for it. Okay. I'm, I I'm, don't trust you, but I'm rubbing over the top of her na na, and I feel kind of guilty here, Thanks. but. <laughs> Leave her the JJ alone. <laughs> so, anyway. It's the inappropriate Lopresti hour. Yeah, well, you know. It is what it is. Oh, no. Now, this, this will be for sale at Christmas Con. So. Christmas con. Yeah, I'm having a Christmas oh, con. Oh, I'm right going to have to plan. Look. Get some music together. Yeah, but we're going to have to have like Christmassy music intro. Have some entertainment. Maybe some commercial sponsors. What, what was I looking for? Oh, C. There's N1. A couple N1. Two. Okay. What colors are four? Is there four black? How do I not know that? Or is it blue? It's got to be black, right? Um, a lot of kids are going to school regular in my area, but hey, South Carolina is ridiculous anyway. Hey, yeah, the blue is blending in with those grays so well. Thank you, Court, for reaffirming what I'm trying to do here. Uh, do the non-photo blue pencils live up to their name, or do you have to do any tweaking once they're scanned to get them? Nothing lives up to well. Okay, it depends on how hard you press. But sometimes they'll they'll show up as like a really light light gray. I mean, if you do it as a color scan, I I don't like 
I don't like the light, the the um, non photo blue because it it's too light and it's too waxy, and you end Ouch. up pressing harder than you want to anyway, so you can see it, and then you can't erase it because it's so engraved and so waxy. So I get these coal erase light blues that do erase. And so you can erase them a little bit if you want to, but then I just go into Photoshop when I scan it. I scan it in color, then I just drop all the blue out, and it just, boom, is gone. What's it's it like do? magic. What's boom, it boom, it's gone. gone. So there you have it. That's kind of that's kind of my thing. Now, I'm always tempted to go back over the top of this and make some of these grays darker. It's a C0. Um, what did you want but if I do, that? it's going to pick up the colored pencil and ruin the tip of my pen. Now, a lot of times I do it anyway, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, the four is blue. Court, are you sure the four is blue? Because if I do it blue and you're wrong, heads will roll. I'm talking about the original. Let's let's, it. let's see what Kirby has to say about your blue. Google it. I'm oh doing gosh, it right now. So dusty. Sue Richards, fantastic fort. Let's see what Jack says. Jack knows all. And Jack says it's blue. Right. Woo! Is this, Court's right. Good job. Is this Sammy's bill that I keep getting? For what? I don't know. I just paid that, or I've been working on it, actually. Okay, but because I shouldn't have any bills. I know, but that's yeah. It's it's in your name, but I'm paying for it. So All right. medical bills that just won't go away. Yeah. Affordable Care Act, my ass. This has not been um, intended to be a political show, but my wife is bringing it, bringing Bring it, it hard. Okay. Oh, here's another bin down here. Do you look for this one? There's any in there. Did I pick the violet again? No, I didn't. Okay, this is blue. blue. All right. This is much bluer than it's looking on screen, you guys. You'll see after the show, I will, uh, after the show, like this is some sort of form of entertainment. It's more like torture. <laughs> after my show's over, I'll, um, uh, Thanks for joining me. I'd like to thank my guest tonight, uh, Shelly Lopresti, for uh, livening up the. Um, yeah. Uh, so lively, her blue You know hair. what I actually do? I need to kind of indicate her boob through that four because it, it looks strange to me. It looks flat. Um, Maybe her implants fell. I got to boob her up. But she doesn't live in gravity like the rest of us. Not in superhero world, you don't. All right. And it's not quite enough boobage. I got to go just a little bit heavier. With <laughs> Poor cowbell. Poor boobage. Uh. Kind of dieting right now, and I'm kind of hangry. I just kind of am. Here's the C1, but it's empty. I need it. I need the refill. Is what we need. Well, I can't help it there. I know because I don't have one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What the heck happened to that C3? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we go in here like this. Just give that there a little bit of there. Okay, I feel better about it already. I hope you do at home as well. Um, okay, so now I'm going to, uh, there we go, got an eight. I'm going to beef this up a little bit, pardon the expression. Because this, this is what Jack would do. He would beef up that four. Oh, so um, if you guys have not seen Tom Hanks' film Greyhound, uh, my roommate from college directed it, so you really need to go watch it. It was actually quite an entertaining little um, World War II sea drama. He kept the... A lot of action. Yeah. It was really moving. Stress factor. It was very high. Yeah. All righty. Turn near... Turn near something. 
I go to bed sleep right now, I won't realize how hungry I am in a little while. I'm going to thicken up these lines because that colored pencil tends to dull everything out a little bit. And we don't want that. There's nothing worse than a dull drawing. Do you guys see my humorous uh, promo I did for uh, C2E2 this year, just prior to COVID striking us? Um, it's on my YouTube channel. It's about a minute long. I think it's fairly humorous. My daughter thought it was stupid, and then I, I was, she, was awesome. she was embarrassed by it, so I thought, okay, this must really be good then. And so I showed it to Shelly, and she laughed out loud, and that doesn't happen very often, so I figured, okay. With the uh, C four, <laughs> with the middle age set, I'm uh, I'm still funny. It's the young <laughs> young crowd that doesn't get me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the the puns flowing uh, in here. Did you ever meet Seth Fisher? I don't even know who Seth Fisher is. That would be a no, then. Maybe I should I know who Seth Fisher is? I don't know. This placeholder is uh, asking. No, that's Lewis Price, right? Uh, the Good Shepherd, on which the movie, yes, yes. So check it out, Stephen. I've not seen the C2E2 promo. Is it up on, on their site? No, it's on my site, Court. Go, are you subscribed to me? On, your YouTube on my YouTube channel? channel? Okay, that does it. I'm, <laughs> I'm quitting. Wait a minute. There. Subscribe and like because it's free. That's a great reason to do just about anything. You're making the breast of a bad situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More boobage for Christmas con. Oh boy, I've created a monster. Be our tagline. Aaron Christmas con. Oh, More boobage. All right. Is it too early to go to bed? It's never too early around here. I wake up in the middle of the night and be starving. As usual. It's not very good whistling, but no, it's, all right. it's not really my thing. What do you do with those huh? thingies, the bubble things? They're like her Invisa bubbles. Um, like she can make like a force field or something with her little. Um, so it's kind of an indication of her powering up for some action. Gotcha. So I should hit those with a little bit of gray. So, um, yeah. So we'll use a little C2, not E2, but just C2 around there. When's Christmas con happening? Um, well, if you were here at the beginning of the show. Darty. Uh, Darty. Um, probably like in the first 10 days of December because I want to make sure that anybody making any purchases gets their purchase oh, yeah. prior to Christmas. Now, that doesn't explain why they always put the uh, Christmas specials on, like, the first week of December. Those, you know, like Charlie Brown and stuff, I want to see that, like, the week of Christmas, not, you know, a month before Christmas. But this is one Christmas special that's going to go early. Which version is this costume? It's the original man going all the way back. Oh, did you ask me that or did someone? No, so I'm just reading the No, okay. This is the original, original, original Jack Kirby version. So Seth Fisher was an artist. Did FF, Batman, Snow, Green Lantern. So, wait a minute. How do I never heard of this dude? He did all that stuff and I don't have, I never heard of him. Yes, Bert. They are. I think our Sammy comes home in three weeks. Yeah, it's just like right oh. after right after her birthday in December. Ugh. She's not groaning because she's coming home. She's groaning because it's so long before she uh, comes home. Yeah. Well, it's not too long. I mean, she's 
We just haven't seen her since mid-September-ish. Well, I shouldn't say that because we FaceTime almost every day. Yeah, she does. Uh, she's a pretty regular FaceTimer. So, let me see. Okay, now this. Darn it. Okay, this chalk white is awesome for going over markers, but it does not go over other colored pencil at all. So, in order to do kind of, I want to do kind of a liney, like she's fading out, but I'm going to have to do it with a brush. All right. You guys are going to get to see me work with a brush live. Oh my gosh. But this is me prepping in the background, which you can't see. No. <laughs> Put your SpongeBob toothbrush in there. All right, let's see what happens. Now, I should have enough moisture on this brush to pull this off. I've got this old bottle. And I mean old, pro white, it's all hard and dried and yucky in there. So I have to add water to it to get it to sort of. So that should indicate to you this is not waterproof. So if you use pro white on something to white it out, don't get it wet. Ah, Bert. <laughs> Tell that red Santa he owes me. Working with this brushes stuff. make you bristle. <laughs> Mark this date down. Which one? This date, because oh. you're getting to see me. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Okay. So I'm trying that to get this. Right past me. I'm trying to get this so it's not too wet, but not too dry. I want it so it's just right. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> there you go. Like this video, subscribe to Aaron's channel, and send Mrs. Lopresti more ammo. All right. Here goes nothing. Literally nothing. Can you even see that? Yeah, you can. Yeah. The problem with whiteout is it goes on and it's white and you're like, yeah, and then it dries and it disappears. And you're like, okay, so now I have to go over the top of it again. Huh? Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, that's my drinking water. <laughs> Almost dipped it in my drinking water. <laughs> probably. Oh, my gosh. Probably not the best choice. So back to when I was buying ammo, I was amazed. The first time I stood in line, I was the only chick in there. So I was feeling pretty badass. And then I think the second time. Feeling pretty bad. Yeah. I think there was one other chick in there. It's nice. Okay, so but then we're going to cross hatch because that's, what that's always fun. That's what you do. <laughs> Bob Ross moment. He ain't got that kind of hair, though. What's that? Bob Ross moment. Oh. <laughs> Did Sammy take her Bob Ross painting? I, school? Oops, I almost dipped it in my water again. Um, I don't know if it's in there or not. Uh, I think it's I in there. I won't be able to find it. I think, wasn't it just... Sitting up there on her bed nightstand. Now, see, I'm able to get a straight line out of this, even though I'm uh, like, it looks like I'm just sort of like drawing like a pencil, but it's still coming out really straight because I'm barely touching the paper. Controlling the pressure is the key. No, they're too expensive. So, okay, wait a minute. Let me give, let me moisturize my brush. One second here. One more time. Oops, hitting the camera. I'm going crazy. Up, oh, oh, hit it again. Down in there. All right. Good look at uh, Sue, Sue while I stir the pot, so to speak. No. I just have to go through a bunch of stuff either. 
So again, I got to get this so it's kind of thick, but not too thick, but it can't be too wet either. It's got to be just it's gotta right. It's got to be just right. Ow. Okay. We're hoping it's just right. Okay. All right, I gotta... I'm going to zoom in here on her crotch, but not for those reasons. So you can see the white out better. I'm sure. Anybody have any connections in France? Maybe even Germany? Well, I guess we do, but. <laughs> I was going to say we have connections in have, Germany. I don't know. I think you, I can only get it in France. What are you talking about? The, this gel. That salve. Yeah. Okay, I can so get it here, but it's weak. So I just wanted this kind of like this disappearing kind of stuff to go up a little higher and then kind of break into a crosshatch down at the bottom. Oops. How could Bob Ross have been a drill instructor with that voice? All right. Was he really? That's his well, hopefully his hair didn't look like that when he was a drill instructor. That was his signature. I kind of like it. I do. I really kind of like it. Put a little some sparklies in here. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Okay, so that sort of justifies me not drawing any more than I did, right? Because she's half invisible. All right, well, I think let's pull back and take a look, shall we? Let's. Yeah. I kind of dig it. Kind of dig it. I think. In most countries, this would be considered finished. So, would you go rinse it out for me in that water? Um, the white water. Okay. So, the, um, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take this. What am I going to do? I'm going to take this warm three and kind of touch up this shadow area right in here don't forget to sign it <laughs> yep i only did that one time you guys won't let me really live it right. down well it was in a sketchbook too they're like dude sign oh. it i'm like oh yeah before i mail it off that would be bad although I, some guy did buy something from me in alaska and i'm not sure if i signed it or not and i was like there ain't no way um it's like if i didn't sign it i'm gonna say well See me to con <laughs> because I'm not paying to ship it back down here and then back up to you. She got um, some guns. All right. Well, she is uh, kind of a superhero. I used to have guns. Well, okay, have a gun. But my guns aren't so. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, you know, I guess I'll go ahead and sign it. This, of course, will be up for sale during Christmas con so you don't want to miss that so I've got I got this I got Supergirl and I've got a thing uh, that for sale my creature you forgot to sign you lie did not did I really well, well good thing we'll uh, yeah. maybe get to see you again yeah if they, if they if we ever you ever get a new governor in California and allows you to actually have a convention have you heard of the Norm McDonald bit about how the team is upset with Reed because their names correlate with their powers, and yet he names himself Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> not Mr. Stretchy. or uh, That's pretty funny. I have not heard it, but thank you for sharing. That was... Uh, I'll have to look it up. Did I, see? I can't believe I forgot to sign your creature. Um, okay. Done. Done, man. 
Okay, so this will be part, I'll, I'll uh, scan this and put it up so you can actually see the actual colors a little better. But um, hey, it's 747, that used to be a jet. All right, John. Well, next time I see you, bring your creature in the black of good, and I'll sign it. Um, but I did sign this one. Thanks for reminding me. Um, but, uh, Johnny Fitz. Johnny, you come in just as I'm leaving. Yo! So go back and watch the video. But thank you for taking the time to join us. I do appreciate mm -hmm. it. Uh, John, I sent you a picture. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so there you <laughs> have it. Mm -hmm. 1047, actually. Well, depends on where you're at. Exactly. Doesn't it? I wish it was because then I could go to bed and not be guilty. You know, it's 647 in Phoenix right now because they don't do no, daylight they're savings. Ahead of time. No, Aren't they're they ahead? Not. No, it's 647 right now. No, they have to be. They're ahead. Did we spring forward or fall back? We fall back. Okay, well, they're an hour ahead then. <laughs> that's, what I'm a, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, wait a minute. We spring forward, but we fall back to regular time. So they're an hour behind us. No. Because we're the same time. You can't move. Okay, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Sorry, we're going to throw hands here for a whole minute. Just on, on daylight savings time, right? We took her to college. The time here was the same Beautiful. there, right? Beautiful. So what did we do? We fall back. Okay, that's your, right. I need so your, you're right. I yes. need your thumb. You're, no, no, no. Nope, you're right. You're right. You're oh, right. Okay, you're another right. Another write this down moment. I, you're right. Let's call Wait Sammy and ask her. Oh. What time is it? Is actually probably doing something fun and like I'm great. Also be fun too. They never change. I know. I'm gonna darken these shadow areas now, but sure. even though I've already signed it, it's my way. She might be swimming. So you're saying it's eight forty-seven there right now? I think so. They spin. No. Hi, this is Amy. <sighs> okay, so I'm seriously now I'm done with it. You can see I, I made her hair shinier, shiny. Or look at that, it's beautiful, beautiful. All right, uh, gotta run. Have a good night and stay wait, safe down there. I wait. will. Hurt. I will. Current time in Phoenix is eight forty nine. Okay, I'm wrong. You were right. Oh yeah. Okay. Every right. Right. Okay, wait. I'm right every day. So. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Tatiana says they spend half their time in mountain and half in Pacific time. So what half are they in right now? Pacific? Mountain. Are they in mountain time? Then? We're Pacific time. Pacific standard time. Yes. Gotcha. And that was your time telling lesson of the day. That's right. Okay, seriously though. Okay. Uh, out. Bye guys. All right, so there it is. Um, I will have a bunch more of these. I don't, I'm not going to live stream them before I do them. Maybe a one more, who knows, to kind of really prep everybody for Christmas con because it's going to be so huge and spectacular. We need to sort of prepare in increments for it so it just doesn't blow your mind. Okay, now she's calling me back. You notice I have Jaws as my theme song on my phone? Hello. I didn't, your mother did. I know, but she used my phone. She wanted to know what time it was there. I'm doing a live feed right now, by the way, a live stream. Samantha says hi to everybody out there, and she just wants to extend a little greeting to everyone. So um, anyway, yeah, that was pretty much it. So I got to go. 8.51, okay, well, yes, okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. So we have established that it actually is an hour later than me in Phoenix. Okay. I'm sorry. Do, do, do. There it is. All done. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to say, uh, I should say, good night. Good night. That's from Young Frankenstein. And I'm not going to have any oval team, perhaps. Uh, John, you said hi, Sammy, and she's already gone. This, the delay is just killing this conversation. What can I say? All right. So anyway, I'll post this almost immediately so you guys can see what the color looks like. So hang around Facebook for a little bit after I tune out. And is there anybody else that I have not 
Mr. Law says, awesome. Thank you for dropping by, Mr. Law. He just got a uh, commission himself. Okay, but seriously, folks, I got to go. Um, but I am drawing stuff. I've got a, I'm going to get another project maybe that, uh, well, maybe I'll tell you about during Aaron Khan. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, so there you have it. Thank you for joining me. It's been a blast. Well, it has been for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of it. And um, keep your eyes in well, not your ears, but your eyes peeled on Facebook. So when I list the time and the date for Christmas Con, you'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, everybody, thanks again for joining me. It's been a pleasure as always, always, always. And I will uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Good night. <laughs>